Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys five must-enable settings for the Opera web browser. So if we start by going to the speed dial or start page for the Opera browser, we can click on customize start page in the top right hand corner. If you've already enabled settings on the sidebar, you can click there too. So we click customize start bar, then we click go to browser settings. First setting you should enable is block ads. So block ads and surf the web up to three times faster. This is basically the equivalent of having ad block installed on any other web browser. But this is built into the Opera browser where it can block ads you see on various sites you come across on the internet, many of which can slow your computer down as it tries to open up a website, and some may be malicious, while others are just kind of annoying. Now if you don't want to block all ads, you can click on manage lists and turn off easy list and easy privacy and you can switch over to malware block where it will only block known malicious ads that exist out there on the internet that are dangerous for your computer if you click on them. At the bottom you can also choose to add in any custom lists if you want to go very advanced into this. But the easy list and easy privacy lists do a pretty decent job out of the box. There's no reason, however, why you can't install Adblock Plus if you want extra protection having two layers of ad blockers in the Opera browser. From the settings page, if we go over to privacy and security, so inside of the Opera browser there's a VPN provided by SurfEasy Inc, which you can see is an Opera-based company. And what VPNs do is they hide your IP address as you browse around the internet, allowing you to have more of an anonymous approach as you visit different sites. Now using a VPN won't hide when you're logged into a service such as YouTube, and depending on the quality of the server you connect to, you might not get as fast of internet performance as a direct connection. But having a VPN enabled is a critical tool if you're trying to remain anonymous online. The only reason why I don't currently have this free VPN enabled is because I also have CyberGhost installed on my computer, which I'm using as a premium VPN, but instead CyberGhost covers everything I do on my computer, whereas the Opera VPN by SurfEasy is just for browsing the internet. Back on the browser tab of the settings, you can scroll down and towards the bottom under the user interface section, there's a very useful option called on text selection, convert currency to, and then you select the currency which you want to convert to. And what this does is that when you run across a price on the internet, such as right now on amazon.co.uk, I can convert this pounds price into US dollars very easily by just selecting it and it will immediately convert it using current exchange rates over to US dollars. So here we can see that currently 45 pounds translates into $57.30. Our fourth setting that we want to enable can be found in the top left hand corner of Opera where we click and we access the main menu. If you look at the bottom over here, there's something called Opera Turbo. And what Opera Turbo does is as you access websites and you run into images and video files across the internet, the Opera browser will try to minimize the files before they're sent to your computer. So a file, like an image, that may have been one megabyte, will shrink in size and make it easier for your browser to load it quicker and by consuming less bandwidth. If you happen to have a mobile device with a limited data plan, then utilizing uh, Opera Turbo is going to be more essential because on those devices you don't have unlimited data and you want to make every megabyte count. And then my fifth must enable setting is more of a personal choice to be honest, but I consider this a personal necessity. You may have noticed that in this video, the top of the screen and the window, the colors are all dark colors. They're grays and with white text, and that's how I prefer things to be. So if that's something you also want, hit new tab to open up the speed dial, click on customize start page on the top right, and choose enable dark theme. Likewise, if you already have the dark theme enabled, but you want to disable it, you can just uncheck that to return to the light colored original theme. So that's my top five list for must enable Opera browser settings, ad blocker, VPN, currency converter, turbo mode, and finally dark mode. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video on the Opera browser. I hope these settings serve you well, and I will see you guys in my future video content.